Alice Munro, author of the short story Red Dress. Alice Munro is a Canadian short story writer who was born on 10th July 1931. She won the Nobel Prize in Literature in the year 2013. Her stories have been said embed more than announce, reveal more than parent. Munro's stories explore human complexities in an uncomplicated prose style. Munro's writing has established her as one of our greatest contemporary writers of fiction. Munro is the recipient of many literary accolades including the 2013 Nobel Prize in Literature for her work as master of the contemporary short story. Munro began writing as a teenager publishing her first short story Dimensions of a Shadow in 1950. Munro's highly acclaimed first collection of stories Dance of the Happy Shades 1968 won the Governor General's Award and Canada's highest literary prize. She is the first Canadian and 13th woman to receive the Nobel Prize in Literature. An introduction about the short story The Red Dress. If you remember feeling awkward during puberty but also nervous and excited about becoming an adult. You will be able to relate to the main character in Red Race. The story is an adventure into the struggles of discovering sexuality as well as trying to fit in. In the beginning of Red Race by Alice Munro, we learn that our main character's mother is sewing a dress for her. The narrator comments that her mother liked to make things. but that the creation itself was never as good as her idea our narrator brings her friend loni over one day and they watch her mother walk on the dress the girl is embarrassed by her mother who sits weirdly her cheeking bones and complains about her own childhood when the girls get away from the mother They chat about boys and sex. The girl's mom is creating the dress especially for an upcoming Christmas dance. But the girl admits that she doesn't want to go. She considers faking falling off a bike to get out of it. But decides instead to try to make herself sick by opening the window. breathing in cold air and then smearing snow on her chest and sleeping in cold wet clothes her attempt fails and when the day of the dance comes she is just healthy as ever at the dance our narrator is a bundle of nerves as she watches the older students arrive and contemptuously ignore the younger students at one point A popular boy in school dances with the girls and then leaves. When she realizes he is not going to continue dancing with her, she is embarrassed. When no one else asks her to dance, she feels like something is seriously wrong with her. So she runs off and hides in the bathroom. A girl named Mary Fortune shows up in the bathroom and invites the girl to smoke a cigarette with her. They sneak to an unknown part of the building. Mary explains that she is not boy crazy like the rest of the girls in school. She has other goals and wants to be a physical education teacher. Mary invites the girl to have hot chocolate with her in a shop nearby. She accepts the invitation. But on the way out, a boy invites her to dance and she accepts. Mary leaves without her. Later on, the boy she dances with walks her home. talks about a hockey game and kisses her before leaving our narrator sees that her mother is awake and waiting her to tell her all about the evening the girl decides that she is not going to tell her everything she admits that she feels an oppressive obligation to tell her mom about the evening 